The Kahala Hotel and Resort is getting ready for its first ever ramen at the beach event. For three nights, guests will enjoy the dishes by a famous ramen restaurateur. Joining us now to explain are Shigetoshi Nakamura, owner of Nakamura NYC and Niche, and Wayne Hirabayashi, executive chef at the Kahala Hotel and Resort. Good morning. Welcome, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. So, chef, talk about your whole ramen experience, and you've been doing this for the past 20 years. Uh, yes, uh, I'm doing the ramen thing for, yeah, from uh, 20 years ago, and uh, I opened uh, the ramen, uh, ramen Nakamura at the uh, Low West Side, Manhattan, New York, uh, three years ago. And uh, yeah, my experience in uh, the ramen at the United States, I developed with uh, the ramen world with a uh, sun noodle. Yeah, and then today I uh, demonstrate the, the mazemen, which is a saucy ramen, okay. which is a very a unique style and the mix the ramen culture uh, corroborate with uh, the steak, the uh, American culture. So, yeah. And what brings you here to Hawaii? Um, the, the steak mazemen. What brings you here for, what's the event that you're here for? You're at the Kahala, and Kahala it's a Hotel. very cool experience that guests will be able to... To enjoy. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh, the ramen at the beach, uh, that's a very awesome uh, the, uh, the event today. Uh, so, yeah, um, the ramen is normally uh, it's kind of like a winter uh, like food. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, in the U.S., uh, it's a very uh, unique culture. And uh, especially the Hawaii, at the ramen at the beach is very cool sound. Okay. okay, and tell us what you brought for us, and we can begin and assemble yes. this. Okay, so I will uh, the, make a mazemen, uh, mm -hmm. which is a saucy ramen. I first uh, make a, a sauce. Uh, use a, a pork paste. Uh, they're using a pork belly and the chashu. And uh, put the uh, uh, ramen uh, soy sauce, which is a shoyu tare. Okay, and it's so steamy, it's steaming up the camera. <laughs> but it yeah. smells so wonderful. Yes, and uh, kombu water. Kombu water. Yeah, yes. Okay. What's this? What's the number one secret ingredient or the key to making a good broth for the, the ramen? He is a tare uh, normally, but for the uh, for the ramen. Uh, but the mazemen is a. Uh, I think the noodle is a very important. Okay. Uh, because uh, uh, this is a ramen. Uh, it's very pop. Uh, the the similar as a pasta style, mm -hmm. uh, but ramen is a very thickness and a chewiness. You can enjoy the, the you know the stick with the, the sauce. It's a very uh, unique, uh, yeah. It's a, it's it's key and mix with the sauce. Okay. okay. You can smell that like a, do you know chashu? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So a very yes, you know, very flavor. very meaty pork flavor mm -hmm. that you can smell. Yes. So yeah. So mazeme, maze means a mix, mm -hmm. and a man is a noodle, so it's very uh, simple style. Okay. Yes. And then while, while you assemble this, Chef Wayne, how unique and exciting is it to have Chef Nakamura here? Yes, very unique and exciting. Uh, just when he was doing his preparation, mm -hmm. he showed a lot of um, technical, like old school um, skills. Right. Just from the beginning, from making his chicken stock, we learned something new. Um, how he makes all his sauces. It seems like a lot of fat content, but when you actually eat the dish, it's very, very light and tasty. Okay. It's so important, the, the fat, the amount of fat that he uses and the type of fat that he uses. And I can't wait to taste it all. And if you want to taste it, check out Ramen at the Beach tonight and tomorrow night. It's part of the Seafood Buffet. Sunday night, there will be a pop-up service. And next week, you can also taste the ramen during the lunch hours at the Plumeria Beach House Restaurant. And lucky me, I get yes. to sample this. <laughs> Ramen for breakfast, always a good choice. Too bad Ross isn't here. <laughs> Ross is surely missing out. All right, very beautiful, Chef. Thank you so much. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.